Good morning. Hello, everybody. We're not in my kitchen. And we're not in our backyard. Or our living room. We are sitting here in the Magic Kingdom in front of my favorite bathroom, which is the Tangled <laughs> Tangled bathrooms over in Fantasyland. <laughs> it doesn't so, matter where we are. We are inside the Magic Kingdom. We are. We just got here. Um, one of my friends is a cast member, and she was the nicest person ever and invited us to come with her for her cast member preview. Yep. So here we are. It's a beautiful day. Today's July 7th. Yep. Um, to kind of keep things in perspective <laughs> right. that we are here in the hot summer, but it's actually not bad. It's in the morning. Yeah. It's just about 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, we have our masks on. It's shady and breezy where we are here. We've already been on Peter Pan, which was nice walk and air conditioned. And, and air conditioned. On. For the uh, cast member previews, there's bar barely anybody here. So that's been really nice. Um, I don't know how characteristic that'll be once the park's actually open, but we are part of the first folks of the general public to be here experiencing the park. Yeah, and we'll be back on Thursday for annual pass preview. So we'll yep. do a video there too to kind of compare what the crowds look yep. like. Yep. Um, and of course we'll be here when it opens to the public yep. um, over the weekend. But um, we're excited and we're just going to, um, planning on staying here as long as I can get Jeff to stay, which will be all, all, day. Day. all day. We're gonna sit down a lot. We're gonna go on rides that are air conditioned, which are most of them. Yep. Um, sit inside is several areas where there are um, cool areas where you can go inside and take your mask off. So, yep, yep. Um, so we'll keep you posted on where yeah. we are and how we're kind of finagling this new normal. But um, I'm happy to take whatever we can get. So we're excited. But so far, like, we haven't noticed anything different. Like no? the Disney experience, you're you're fine. You're, <laughs> we can see you. <laughs> you're, we, I promise we can see you. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so far, like nothing's really different. Yeah. Um, you know, markings on the floor to keep everybody spaced out. Uh, hand sanitizer before and after all rides. Um, you know, they want you to mobile order your meals uh, ahead of time. But other than that, I mean... Everything's designated to enter a store and where the exits are, so you're not right. crossing, so... But other than that, I mean, it's, it's Disney and we're having a great time, so... We're gonna check, be checking out some of the entertainment today as well. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. Just follow along and hang out with us. Give me a magical day. All right, so here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, can you hear the music? Oh my word. Oh, let's say hi to Roy and Minnie. We've missed you. Did you miss us? I know. So I noticed on the stores they have entrance only and exit only locations. So there's no crossing back and forth. Here we are. Exits for the main street. Confectionery. Same for the Emporium, entrances in the front, exits in the sides here. Looks pretty. And the top, it's got gold on it. And like a rose gold pink, so it's not bright at all. And the blue's nice and bright. She's She's a beaut. I love it. We're here on Peter Pan, and before each attraction, they have hand sanitizer. Geez, where you go on? So we just finished riding Peter Pan, and they have hand sanitizer after the attraction. So when you touch the railing and everything in there, you're using it before and after. Uh, here are the trash cans. They have lids removed, so you're not touching, having to push anything in, and you can just dump your trash. So that's kind of nice, too. Those are kind of gross anyway, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs>
so in addition to having hand sanitizing, hand sanitizer stations everywhere, um, they also have the sinks so you can wash your hands. Sometimes those sanitizers are kind of sticky. So it's nice to have this option as well. So once you get a little bit closer and you're under the awning here, because you overlap with the person on you going the other direction, the spacing is then six feet, I'm sorry, no, it's 12 feet apart instead of six feet. So that if you are at a standstill, you're not standing right next to the family next to you on the other side. So we're here at Liberty Tree Tavern for lunch. When you come in, there is a QR code. All you do is open up your camera. You have to take a picture of it and it'll show up in your on your phone. And you follow the prompts to check in for your reservation. And then they have the um, hand sanitizers right here. And they also have a QR card menu. So you just take a photo of that, it pops up and you can see that. Thank you. And they will call you when your table is ready. They have little green dots for each family to kind of stand at and sit down. So you wait there for your table to be called. And they are also utilizing the um, Diamond Horseshoe next door. So if this restaurant is full to capacity, they are seating people at the Diamond Horseshoe for the same menu and all that there. And I hear the air conditioning is better over there too. So we have to check that out. <laughs> but this is gonna be great. Tables are marked to be socially distant. Okay. Here we are. We're at lunch. Yep, we're at lunch at Liberty Tree Tavern. Um, it's about 12 o'clock, so we've been here for three hours. Yep. And we are having a great time. We've been kind of taking note of all the safety measures and this cast everywhere, making yeah. sure that everybody is sticking to social distancing and keeping track on the attractions and making mm -hmm. sure that you're using your hand sanitizer and and all that. Yep. So hand sanitizer on at the beginning of each ride and at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in the theaters. Uh, there. Uh, every other row mm -hmm. and then within the rows that you can see they're doing blocks of four rows and then a block of three where you cannot sit mm -hmm. then a block of four and then three and then four yeah and so it's nice to have they have it and on the little cars like in Peter Pan and the um, Fun and Mansion or every other car right um, so they're doing that um, and they are reminding you constantly when you're on the attractions to keep your face covering on when you're on there your nose has got to be covered right so they're keeping up with that. Yep. So, but yeah, and we started a couple of Blake braids. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, can't, you can't meet and greet characters, but they're putting characters out on uh, like individual floats, like maybe one or two floats might go by at a time with the characters on and they'll wave and you can take pictures. So it's a nice substitute and they're yeah. doing them often. Yeah, they are doing them often. And we heard that they are also on the trolley and stuff on Main Street and the princesses are over at the train station. So after yep. we eat, we're gonna head over there yep. um, and see what that looks like. But yep. yeah, but we're having a great time. And, and, and honestly, um, we'll do my annual mask review later. But um, the mask that I have, I really like. And um, yes, it's hot here. I mean, it's July. No matter if we were, weren't wearing masks, we'd still be hot. Right. And my hair would still look like this in July. Um, but it's, I don't really feel anything different by having it on. If you have the right mask and it's light um, and yep. you can breathe it really. And then you go in, the rides are air conditioned. The shows are air conditioned. There's lots of places to sit and kind of yeah. be in the places shade. Places to get relief. And, yeah. But it's, um, yeah, I mean, I'm always miserable in July, but the mask did not seem to make it worse. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, right? Well, I don't I mean, feel I'm, I'm, miserable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not. It's, it's hot. I mean, I'd rather not have yeah, it. Don't get me hot, wrong, but but, but it's, it's no not different really than a normal hot day. I'm in certainly the park don't feel like I'm going to pass out or anything like that. No. You know, it's nothing. To, not at all. You know, don't have to get, you know, don't have to get, you know, over over the top with it. Yeah. Um, so, but it's really yeah, not bad. But I feel safer here than I do at a Walmart. I can exactly. tell you that. So, exactly. anyway, all right, so, so that's it for now, and we'll come back with some more info as we have it.
All right. So we are hot. <laughs> it's been well, yeah. It's, it's well, it's, it's hot humid. Because, well, it's humid and hot, but we're hot because it's July, not necessarily because of these. Yeah. So I mean, it didn't help, but it wasn't like all the naysayers and all the negativity and the I think the expectation that this was going to cause people to be passing out and all no. that stuff. We haven't seen any of that. It wasn't any different. I don't feel, I mean, it's on your face, but if you have the right mask, like the ones we're wearing are very light. Yep. Um, we can breathe through it. I like it a lot. Um, we paced ourselves. We sat down a lot. Mm -hmm. We went in um, some shows to get out of the sun and out of the humidity. Um, we sat down and had a nice lunch at Liberty Tree. Yep. So we, we, we really paced ourselves. And, um, and the safety was, it was amazing. Um, certainly, you know, they, what, what I found interesting was how many cast members were walking around. You know, I, a, a couple times I had my mask like this. He got in trouble twice. They, I, I mean, I got <laughs> politely <did>. scolded. <laughs> she said, oh, I see a nostril hanging out. So we had a, so they are keeping up with everything, yeah. which I think is good. So yep. don't feel like, you know, it's not safe and things aren't, um, being well thought out here because yep. they definitely are more than anywhere um, that you could possibly go really but everywhere I, you go you got hand sanitizer yep. before going in and out of things and what I thought was interesting too was when we were standing there by the train station watching the characters up there people started kind of gathering in a crowd and a cast member would come through and remind everybody to stay six feet apart yeah and so he was actually separating people yeah. while we were standing there I mean, that's how seriously they take it. Yeah. So it's really good. Um, and it feels magical still. I still feel like we had a magical time. Yeah. I mean, I just don't... I mean, yeah, okay, so the fireworks aren't going to go off at 9 o'clock, you know? That's all right. That's okay. I mean, we still got to ride our attractions. It's still fun. The music's playing. Yeah. Got to eat popcorn and Mickey bars and have our great meal and be in the middle of the magic. Yeah, and the key thing is the crowds, we found out, are going to be half the volume of the um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween parties. So right. for those of you that have been to those parties, usually the crowds aren't bad for those to begin with. Sometimes on the popular nights on weekends, they can be crowded. Yep. Half that. Unofficially, Half that. unofficially. Unofficially. But we, that's the that's word one we're of the, hearing. That's yep. what word, word on the main streets. Um, so, you know, take advantage of it because yep. it's not going to happen ever again. Yep. And um, I hope it doesn't happen again. But. <laughs> So take advantage of it. Take advantage of going on. And Peter Pan had a five, ten minute wait all yeah. day. So we could we could have been on Peter Pan all day if we wanted to. Yeah. So take advantage of that. Yep. Um, and so we felt we yeah. felt great. I mean, we we're going to go home very very satisfied from yep. our day. Yep. So, so and we're going to be back in two days. In two days for an annual pass holder, and then yeah. we'll be back here on grand opening day. Yep. So look for some more videos from us, but. Day one, back with the general public, um, although a private party, but it's the first day the general public got to be here, right on the money. Disney nailed it, knocked it out of the park. Of so. course. All right, so that's it. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye, guys.